for the next session of the day. And again, completely unique topic once again. Right after a panel on claims management, we now have a completely different session and different topic. Smart convert. Smarter payments, better conversions. And to present this, I would like to call on stage with a big round of applause, Mr. Nishant Kumar Pati, Director of Business Development from JustPay. A big round of applause to Nishant. Nishant, welcome to the stage. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending the product launch, the latest product uh, under the Jaspe Armour. Uh, just to briefly give you the... Just to briefly uh, introduce uh, Jaspe. So we are the largest payment orchestrator in India and uh, the largest UPI infrastructure company in the country. We power payments for some of the top 250 enterprise clients across the country. So, in the, in the internet category, yeah, we work with the ICICI group, the Prudential and Lombard, Digit, Echo, whether with Diva Bupa, Itabilla Health, and we're soon onboarding some of the other top uh, insurance companies. We've been working with Amazon Flipkart for the last four to five years. We power payments from some of the top companies across sector. Uh, this has been achieved through relentless focus on reliability when you are the owners of managing payments for the top companies across India. Uh, we have to build reliable solutions. And uh, at a scale that we run, we do around 50 million transactions per day, $200 billion worth of transactions in a year, and around 1.5 billion SDKs are installed across 300 mobile users across the country. Uh, Going to our product suit, right? Uh, the two main stacks that we use are uh, the checkout product, where you know all the top merchants use our payment orchestration layer. We manage the payment page for uh, Swiggy, Bitbasket, Ola, all the top players. Uh, we've been able to do this because of uh, providing dynamism to the payment pages. You could launch different payment modes, different payment pages for different products of yours. It is completely configurable. You can completely design it yourself. And, uh, and we connect to the networks as well. We work with the likes of Visa, MasterCard, uh, Rupay, NPCI on the, on the UPI front. Uh, we power almost half of all the transactions on Google Pay. Uh, you may not know much about it, but entire Amazon Pay UPI runs on JustPay. We run the entire UPI for credit. So uh, two, two main categories of our products are payment orchestration and the second is uh, UPI infrastructure. Now, adding to the suit of our products uh, and, and one problem that's been plaguing uh, insurance industry, travel industry, uh, is uh, dropouts, right? And uh, since we are in the layer of managing the payment page, uh, identifying where the customer is clicking through the entire transaction journey, uh, the new product that we are launching today, the Space Smart Convert, is, is broadening our product investment. It's, it's focused on converting the customers, you know, intelligently identifying payment failures, identifying the customer context of the payment page, whether they clicked on a particular payment option, they dropped out, they dropped out from the OTP page. Uh, and, and, and this will work across all pay modes we have integrated. We are integrated to all the payment gateways and aggregators in India and this will work across all pay modes and all payment aggregators. So, see, retargeting as a solution was there with, uh, with, there with all the uh, top players, especially in the insurance industry, but contextual retargeting and, and, and you know, identifying where the customer dropped out, right? Uh, if, if someone is not having the right balance in their account and want to pay through credit card, you have to suggest them the right payment option and this, this is what uh, we try to achieve with this solution. And there is a short video to just show you the capabilities of this product.
I knew the video was self definitely and uh, again the three main problems that we are trying to solve here is uh, you know ineffective retry for payment failures. Payments can fail due to multiple reasons. There, there are a plethora of reasons, there could be technical failures, there are multiple players in a payment ecosystem where the payment can fail. Uh, there could be incom uh, incomplete customer activity, right? Uh, so the context of the customer activity on a payment page is not clearly visible to merchants. Some have their analytics engines. We have built a very detailed analytics engine because this is what we do. And we have a lot of data around where the customer dropped out, what the customer clicked. And, and uh, you know, another problem is lower persistency, right? Persistency ratios are very important for insurers. And uh, because of not having the right contextual retargeting or or unstructured messaging that goes to the customers, you know, the persistency ratios are not at the level that the uh, the insurers are trying to achieve. So uh, the, the the links or, or the payment links that are sent to the customer, uh, they are also uh, analyzed detailed in, in detailed manner. You know, if if it was a large payment amount, if it was let's say 50,000, 60,000 payment for a life insurance premium, and the customer was kind of hesitant to complete the transaction in one shot. We would suggest them EMI options, there are uh, new loan options on the go where you can do a KYC and get a loan or you can do a partial payment and then take a policy and do, do the payment later. So these are all uh, some of the options that we provide to the customer while we are retargeting them. There are two engines to this, it can be autonomous wherein you know it could be completely configured at our end, we have the decision rule engines and the payment links go to the customer. The second one is where the assisted mode of the agent sales. So this will plug into the CRM systems of all the insurers and the agents can then target depending on the context and they'll have clear understanding of where the customer dropped out, why the customer dropped out and they can target them, call them and send payment links. The three pillars that we have focused on on, on, on building this product is first is retry. Retry is thing that is uh, silently done because if there is a payment which has failed due to a technical reason and it could be retried, there are chances of it becoming successful. We silently retry, especially in case of mandate payments, where the customer has already given a mandate that you can debit my account for renewals and it will automatically retry. Second pillar that we work on is retargeting. If the customer doesn't have enough balance or is not aware that their card is blocked at that time, we would send them contextual payment links saying that you could try an alternate payment mode. And the third one is redirecting it, right? So, if, if even there the customer couldn't complete the payment, we go to the agent and the agent will then reach out to the customer through different channels to convert the customer. Yeah. So, what is the value proposition of this product? Uh, it is, I think, inbuilt into the product in a way as we speak. Uh, reduces the targeting cost because it is all automated, giving more data. As, as data is used for underwriting, this data is used for uh, retargeting, helping the sales agents. Uh, improves the persistency and, and, and customers stick because of uh, better experience. Uh, it improves uh, the productivity of the sales agents because uh, they don't have to spend more time in trying to identify, search their, uh, or talk to different teams to identify failures. Better affordability options with this uh, payment modes that were introduced, whether be it on credit card EMIs or or, uh, or new to bank customers who can take loan on the go, and, and all of this is just hyper configurable, right? So you can just design payment pages yourself, which is what has been happening with our product. But you can plug into your CRM solution and just make it work on the go. Uh, so for the agents, right, in the assisted mode, because agents are a big part of this entire business, and and uh, what we've tried to help the agents in this flow is, you know, give them a complete visibility of the customer activity trail. Uh, you know, what are the next best actions they could take uh, to convert the customer? Uh, all the error codes and, and easier identification of all the error codes for the agent so that they can understand and kind of uh, send payment links. Uh, there are different uh, ways they can uh, send payment links. First, they could call and then they could send payment links. There will be proper error reasons and drop off reasons categorized to them and they can reach out to the customers. So, uh, we can do a small demo of the of the product here. We will show the assistant journey of the agents. So, so there is an agent uh, who is logged in. So, each agent has their own login. And uh, so, he's trying to create a lead here. Uh, they have identified that a customer is dropped out because of a particular reason. Uh, they, they tried paying through some pay mode, but uh, they have dropped out. So, the first action that can be taken is uh, 
sending a payment link. So the payment link is getting created right away here, right? You can decide the amount that you want to send a link to. So when you click on proceed to collect, you can see here we are kind of looking at this. So they're showing multiple pay modes that the customer can use. And the agent has complete understanding because we would have given them the context as to where the customer and why the customer dropped out. And they could either send a payment link, they could either send a mandate payment link, they could send them pre-approved DMIs. You can just check the eligibility of the customer through the phone number, right? If you have the phone number, you can check whether the customer is eligible already on their, uh, and you have that today for online journeys. And you could also apply a new loan right on the go. So we'll just show you a demo of a, of a recurring payment link. So, so the agent is identified, the customer was trying to set up the mandate was not setting up. And uh, we'll enter the details of the customer and proceed. Now here you can see, uh, they have the option of uh, showing all all pay modes for setting up mandate, be it Nash, credit card, debit card, or UPI, they can switch off. So if you switch off one pay mode, the payment page will be customized to just show those payment options. You will just send them a UPI auto pay link. Here, what we'll try to do is we'll just try to show them a card and a UPI auto pay link. And all of these are kind of configurable. This is a payment link on the customer's phone and you can see that uh, they have option to set up the mandate on, on UPI or credit card. They can just click ahead and uh, enter their UPI ID and do a complete transaction. So the idea of this entire product is to kind of make agents and the payment operations teams in all the companies more accessible, more understandable to the entire payment uh, journey because People think payments is more technical, but trying to bridge the entire gap and improving sales is the entire goal of this product. And uh, we hope to take it across all the merchant managers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vishan, for that wonderful presentation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we open the floor uh, for questions. So please raise your hand and we'll provide you the mic and you can ask the questions directly to Nishant. Any questions from the floor? If there are no questions, now I'm available here to put the... Uh, sure, sure, absolutely. And just to tell you that Nishant and the whole team of Just Pay is available till the end of the day today. And please do visit the booth of Just Pay. And I'm sure they will be more than happy to help you with their products and solutions and offerings. And of course, if you have any queries, they're always there. And himself, I think Nishant is available all the time to help you guys. So now, uh, quickly, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call on stage uh, Ms. Zenith Mongal, Vice President, Customer Experience from ICIC Lombard, to kindly do the honors of eliciting uh, Nishant Kumar, the Director of Business Development from Jaspe. Zenith, thank you so much for doing the honors. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nishant Kumar, Director, Business Development, Just Pay. Wonderful presentation we just